Hello. Uh, how are y'all doing today? How's everyone doing? Um, I wanted to read um, I don't know if I'm read that. Um, a few things. I'm going to start reading a little bit uh, of Revelation. And I want to explain something. Um, because everything written in this Bible is true and it will come to pass if it has been already. And it says right here in Ezekiel, and everything I read, I'll have wrote down in the description box below. It says, Can thy heart endure, or can thy hands be strong in the day that I will deal with thee? I, the Lord, have spoken it and will do it. Everything that's in the Bible, God will do. And people like to kind of overlook Revelation because it scares them or something like that. But if you listen good, I mean, bad things are going to happen to people that won't quit sinning and won't come to God and won't turn their life around that want to keep being with the devil, and they will get punished. But God will take care of us. And then here is another thing. It says, Where God hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, name that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow, should bow, of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Some people say, oh, I don't believe in Jesus, or I don't believe in God, or whatever they want to say. They don't believe in this and that and heaven and all that. Well, you can claim not to be a believer, but you will one day bow before Jesus Christ and confess Because it, is, it says it in the Bible, you will do it. It will happen. There is no, you can hide from it. Well, I'm, you know, well, I'll be in hell with the devil or whatever. No, it doesn't matter where you're at. When, at the white throne of judgment, it may be before that, I don't know. But I know you will bow and you will confess that Jesus Christ is, is <laughs> oh God, I'm not saying it right. I'm sorry. It's kind of early and I'm having a little trouble thinking. But anyway, I just want to say everything is in the Bible is true. It will happen. If it hasn't happened already, it will happen. So, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to try to read the whole book. I don't know how much I'll read exactly. Well, not today anyway. I'm just going to start off a little. And then I'm going to make a few more videos and try to read what's in Revelation. So you can understand that what is in the Bible will happen. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. It will happen no matter what. Now, this is at the very beginning of Revelation where it kind of tells, um, anyway, let me read. It says, in the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass, it will happen. And he sent it and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God. And of the testimony of Jesus Christ in all things that he said, he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the word of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from God. Peace be unto, and peace from him that which is, and which was, and which is, which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and first begotten of the dead, and the prince of kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. Where does it say only some people will do it? It's all. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. See? They don't say, yeah, I might do it maybe later. 
Maybe somebody will know it. No, everybody knows it. If you don't know it, you will know it. I'm just going to read a little bit right here. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard, what it was as it were a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show you things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat was to look upon as like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow about, round about the throne, in the sight unto, in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting clothed in white raiment, and they that had, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunders and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts, full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had the face of a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. I knew that one, I don't know. And, four beasts, and the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks unto him that sit on the throne who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. There's no place in here that says this might happen, or maybe it'll happen. It will happen. I'm going to try to read a lot more of it, but right now I'm just going to do that. I want you to understand, everything that is written in this Bible will happen. Everything that hasn't happened yet will happen. There's no getting out of it. There's no hiding from it. There's no running from it. You need to turn to Jesus. You need to believe in Jesus. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and you will. There's power in the name of the blood. I can't even say it right now. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Without Jesus, you will be in hell with the devil. You will suffer horrible things. And I'm going to get more into that, but right now I just want to read that and let you know I am going to be doing some videos on this. And everything that is in this Bible will happen. Turn to Jesus, ask forgiveness of your sins, believe in your heart that Jesus died, was born, lived, died on the cross, a, hor a, hor a, <laughs> a horrible death so he could forgive us of our sins. Without the blood of Jesus Christ, you cannot be forgiven. He couldn't, we couldn't have been forgiven of our sins. But Jesus died so he could forgive us of our sins. Come to him while you still have a chance. Once you're dead, it's too late. It is too late once you're dead. Please come to him while you still have a chance. I hope you have a good and blessed day. I hope I can talk to you again soon. And this is my dog if you're wondering what I'm doing. My little bubby. He likes sticking to me like glue. I hope you have a good and blessed day. I hope I can talk to you again soon. And I hope God will bless you. Thank you very much and have a good day. Goodbye.